Hi, this week I've been testing mics out in the field and today I'm going to put all of these mics together and a couple of others and compare them directly. So I'm going to try the, the Rode, the Andy Cine, the Boyer, the Movo, the Saren, and the Taxstar. Actually, it's amazing how similar they all look, isn't it? The Rode Video Micro is a tried and tested microphone, been around for some time, quite a large windscreen, very effective, and it's one of the most expensive in my collection. This one's at £43. The Boyer microphone I'm testing is the MM1 Plus. It's very similar in look to the Video Micro, similar in size, except this one has a headphone socket and this one comes out at £44 at the moment in the UK. This little cracker is the Movo VXR10 and has often been put up against the Video Micro because it has just that little bit more bass weight. Looks very similar again in design. And then along the same lines, this is another one which is not so well known called an Andy Cine and actually the dead cat is pretty impressive. Um, that's quite a dead cat on there and these, this one is the cheapest one I think in the in these but the, the bunch of the ones that come with these big dead cats. Let me check the Andy Cine comes out at $29.99 or oh, I think the Movo comes out at $29.95 so there's about four pence difference between these two. And finally, these two, which are the odd ones out. This is a little Saren, which is a little condenser type mic. It's a very, very small little thing. Comes with this miniature dead cat on it. Also comes with a foamy, so it's got a little bit of protection. And then we've got this one, which is the Taxstar SGC 600, which replaces the old 598. And this one's more like a shotgun type thing. And it's actually got some controls on it as well. So we've got pads and, and boosts and bass cuts and things going on on this one. This one does not come with a dead cat. It is quite difficult to find one to fit because as you can see, it's a very, very thin tube. So um, what I did was I got a, a dead cat to fit over the whole assembly right to the back. So the whole thing was covered to be fair. So that this one was covered just like the other ones outside. I'm going to start with the Rode Video Micro. This is the one that most videographers go to for their first microphone and it's a lovely little, little thing. It's small, it has a, quite a large dead cap but that's a good thing outdoors. So this is the sound of the Rode Video Micro from the front, this is the sound from the side, this is the sound from the rear, side and back to the front again. And now for the wind test, just a slight breeze. and a hurricane. So that's the Rode Video Micro. This is the microphone that's often put up against the Video Micro because it's cheaper and also it's got a little bit perhaps more bass weight which some people do like. And this is the Movo VXR10. So this is the VXR10 from the front, this is the VXR10 from the side, VXR10 from the back, back to the side, and back to the front again. Slight breeze. And now a hurricane. You've got to realize that these tests are pretty crude they're just to give you some kind of idea how they're going to work out in the field this one which looks exactly the same virtually as the other two is the boyer mm1 plus and the difference with the plus is apparently it's been redesigned slightly in the way that it works but also it has a thing on the back to be able to plug in a headphone when you've got this thing plugged into a phone this one is another one that's considered a, a good replacement for the for the road although actually this one is the same price so this is the boyer from the front boyer from the side boyer from the rear back to the side and back to the front again many people find the boyer quite bassy and quite weighty but again outdoors that could be a nice thing okay the wind test slight breeze
actually one thing about the socket on the back the microphone socket uh, I did wonder whether that would allow wind to come in I right, try the back not sure if that works I'll give it a hurricane Now the curious thing about this one outdoors I found a slight breeze on the front seemed to set it off and it's quite it's got quite a, a substantial dead cat which I couldn't understand but this one does seem a little bit more susceptible to small breezes outdoors so you've got to be careful. This one is one of the cheapest ones in the batch and it's the Andy Cine M1. The Andy Cine M1 comes I think let me see I think it's let me see it's about 29 pounds oh, I can never remember 29.99 so it's a pretty good buy, I think, and it comes with a very substantial dead cat. If you compare it to the Movo, it's quite a bit bigger. Um, the Movo is the smallest of the dead cats, and if I compare it to the Rode, there's the Rode. So they're a bit more similar. This one's got a bit more front, if you'll pardon the expression, than the Rode. So this is the sound of the Andy Cine from the front, Andy Cine from the side, Andy Cine from the rear, Andy Cine from the side and from the front again. Slight breeze. I'm trying to make my slight breezes the same. Being, a, being an ex-oboe player, I can control air quite well. Um, and now a hurricane. So that's the Andy Cine M1. Now this little birdie is a Saren Nano. It's a very small microphone. Um, when I'm looking at my meter, I'm finding that the level on this one is slightly lower than the others. But um, this was curious because it's a small microphone. It's obviously designed to sit on top of a camera. It comes with a little fluffy dead cap, but I wasn't so happy about the dead cap and the way it worked. This is the sound from the front. This is the sound from the side, sound from the rear sound from the side and back to the front again and as you can hear it is directional but this is the problem with it slight breeze hurricane And that's the Saren Nano. This little beauty is a Tackstar SGC 600. Now, this one was the one that actually I was very, very impressed with. And this one doesn't come with a dead cat. So the, the wind test on this one isn't exactly fair. If you get a dead cat on it, it is actually pretty dead. So that's OK, depending on what dead cat you're going to use. I used, um, I think it was a road one or, or I can't remember, but it was a pretty good one. And this was this was good in the wind. So I can't easily do such a good wind test on this one because it's just got comes with the foamy. And to be fair to all of them, I'm testing them as they come. So this is the tax star from the front, tax star from the side, tax star from the rear side and the front. Now the big difference with this one is it comes with um, a pad on it so you can go down by 10 B dB, you can raise the volume by 10 dB, you can put a bass cut in so there's all sorts of things you can do with this one so this one's got a bit more uh, manipulating power in it so um, I'll do a wind test but as I say this isn't really fair I'm just going to do the slight breeze. And that's as the microphone comes. Now, just to test it with the breeze, with the, with the cut. Now I've put the bass cut in. Now I've put a slight breeze on it now. That's the Tackstar SGC 600. So now, to complete my test, I'll go through what I think of these microphones and which ones I would get, um, depending on how much you really want to spend. Obviously, the nice one is the Rode, the Video Micro. It's tried and tested. It comes out at 40, 
three pounds at the moment. Um, it's a reliable microphone and a lot of people use this one at 43 pounds. Now the ones I would not use are the Sarah Nano because of its wind performance and actually I did find the frequency response from, from this one was a little bit uh, I would say quacky it, may, it makes my voice slightly like that a bit sometimes when I'm out and about so for that for that reason because of that and also because of its poor wind uh, control when you're out and about I don't think I could use this one not keen so keen on the sound and don't like the way it rejects wind so that one goes out that's that's lost that's gone now for out of the others we've got the two bassy alternatives slightly more bassy alternatives to the Rode Video Micro. That's the Movo VXR10 and the Boya. Now I think this really depends on your preferences with regard to bass. The Boya has possibly a little bit more bass than the Movo. The Movo is actually a very nice microphone, I think. And to my mind, the Movo is a better value buy. Basically because the Boya comes out at 44 pounds in the UK at the moment and the Movo comes out at $29.95. So that's about a tenner less than that one virtually. Well, actually it's not a tenner, is it 30 to 43, 15, 13 pounds, 14 pounds. So this one is a better buy in my opinion, slightly less base, but it's a better buy. The problem is, is okay, so let's take the boyer out of the sequence because this one also reacts on the front I found to the wind. So I'm not so keen on that one outside. So we've got the Movo, and the road the movo gives slightly more weight than the road so if you prefer that slight that bit more weight the movo is really a bargain because it's cheaper again than the road by 14 pounds so it looks like the movo is doing pretty well so there's the movo we've put the road over there although i do like the road i, I like the road a lot actually it works incredibly well now when you put the movo up against the Andy Cine. I have to look that name up. It's such a weird name. I love this dead cat. It works really well. And the Andy Cine is dead crisp. The only thing I did notice with the Andy Cine at times was I was getting, I thought, a bit more noise via this one than this one. I'm not quite sure. It swings and roundabouts. But then again, when you're outdoors, um, the noise, the noise of the microphone is going to be less worrisome. So this Andy Cine is a pretty good microphone. And again, it's a, it's a bargain price. This one comes out $29.99, $29.95, same price. Which one would I choose? I'm hard pushed. I like the crispness in the sound of the Andy Cine. I like the bass response of the Movo. It's a kind of swings and roundabouts, and they're both the same price. The wind resistance of the Andy Cine is superb. So I think I might go with the Andy Cine. Just, just. Okay, now we get to the, the last one, the Taxstar SGC 600. This one doesn't come with the Dead Cat. With the Dead Cat, it's actually very, very good. It resists wind incredibly well. Compared to the Andy Cine, let's put that one over there. Compared to the Andy Cine, I prefer the Taxstar. And the reason is, is the Taxstar is very directional and it's got a bit more control over your sound. You can, you can up the sound, you can put 10 dB on the top, you can take 10 dB off, you can cut the bass weight and you've got the choice of the, putting the foamy on or the dead cat or whatever. So the Taxstar I thought was incredibly good. Um, it's also quiet. Now that's a, that was a surprise to me because I, I am quite experienced with the SGC598. I did use that at one time quite a bit. And the one thing I didn't like about it was when I was using it indoors, the hiss, I didn't like the noise, the self noise. Outdoors it was no problem at all. Now the thing is, this one seems to have lost the hiss and what surprises me is the size of the capsule in there must be tiny. It's minute, absolutely minute. But I think this is a really nice microphone. Um, it's only just come out in the UK, I think, and I think it's worth every penny. Now, the Taxstar at the moment is coming out at uh, 27.59, which is a bit of an odd price, so it's going to change, obviously. So the Taxstar is actually cheaper than the Andy Cine. And so for that reason, I think for me, the best budget buy for on camera is the Taxstar SGC 600. Actually, in my opinion, I think that the Taxstar 
performs more like a much more expensive mic than any of these microphones. This one behaves more like a, a, a really quite a good microphone. It's quiet, it's pretty directional, and you've got some good controls. The only thing I've got against it is you've got to put a battery in it, which is okay, it's not a big deal. I'll just show you, it's dead easy. So there you are, there's the battery. It's got a door like the Rhodes. They've, they've really upped their game, Tackstar. They, they make some lovely headphones actually, and the battery goes in dead easy. It gives you an indication, I think, with the light to tell you when the battery's getting low, but you've got to keep switching it on and off. It's not auto on off. So unlike the others, which are just plug and play and off you go, you won't forget because you just plug it in and you're going to get sound. This, you must remember to turn it on. And you do have to be careful of these little switches at the back because they are small. And if you're like me, blind without your glasses, you can't always read what you're, what you're looking at. And um, it's very easy to switch this into a wrong mode because the switches are quite not, uh, small. But I do like the sound of this microphone and I think I'm going to use this one sometimes as well. It's embarrassingly close to much more expensive alternatives. It's, it's really close. When I did a, a comparison with another microphone, really very well known microphone, I was surprised, really surprised. So this is a nice buy. So for me, out of the whole lot, I think the Tackstar SGC600 is the one to go for if you want something that's quiet, directional, and not too large. Failing that, do you know, I am tempted by the Andy Cine basically because of its wind performance and also that crispness that it has. Um, you know, Habit just makes me use the Rode Video Micro a lot, but um, I don't know. I'm not so sure now after trying that Andy Cine because that was a surprise. So there's a lot of choice if you're looking for a budget microphone, there's a lot of choice. And what surprises me is the, the quality that you can get at these lower prices can be extremely good. In the case of the Tackstar, it's pretty amazing for that, that price. I think this is a, a really, really excellent buy. And um, I think I would recommend this one to most people if you want to start out with clean audio that's directional on top of your camera. And even so, you could still use this to on a boom close by or whatever, and it sounds superb that way. So that's my recommendation. But those others, they're not bad by any means. Please, you know, they're not, don't think they're awful. They're not, they're not bad at all. None of these are really bad options. I would say the worst option is the Saren um, and the best option, Tackstar. The others, all in between, depending on the amount of wind resistance you'd like and the, and the amount of bass you'd like in your speech. I hope this was useful to you and I hope to see you next time. Please consider subscribing. Cheers for now.